Welcome to the Weird and the Weary. I'm Jason. With me is Kevin. Hey there. And Lee. Yo, yo, yo. How's everybody doing? Just, I'm great. Great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing, doing okay. Good. Doing okay? Doing all right, yeah. Okay. Not stressed. I had a midpoint review today. Ooh, nice. How'd Do- that go? Went really well. Nice. Nice. Doing better than my uh, predecessor. Ooh, that's a good feeling. Yeah, it does. Especially <laughs> when they're at a uh, higher level than you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's always fun. Hmm. <laughs> I see my dog got you, man. That, uh, she got all over you. Yeah, it's dude. Like it looks like... Uh, wow. That's... Uh, I don't know. It looks like Santa accosted me. It Kind of. Yeah. He like hugged you really hard um, after you gave him the, your uh, Christmas all his, list. All his beard hair just like <laughs> melted all over my uh, nice fleece. Yeah. I thought you were working on a little fursuit over there. Oh, oh. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry if I... If I shamed you in public i mean you know it's not even shameful if you really i i don't i don't easily offend anymore only during game nights okay all right so if you want to steal my dog's fur that's between you and my dog oh you want oh you want me to make a sweater out of it sure that'd be cool (laughs) every time i leave i'll just dump all of the fur into a bag nice and eventually i'll have enough to make a sweater yeah how thoughtful the heaps of 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 fur bunnies that they leave uh you know weekly uh could definitely yeah, you could just mound that up and do it nice. Definitely kill a couple horses. Yeah. Looks like tribbles all over sometimes. You That's know, the so, trouble. Yeah, the tr- <laughs> trouble with, with long-eared white dogs. Yes. <laughs> Medium hair, I guess. At least with the other two black ones, it mixes in. It's right. It's to really right. tell. Right. You know, like white rug, you're like, getting a little, it's getting a little salt and pepper here. You know, but, That's, yeah. a, that's after a couple of days. <laughs> So I got this gray shirt on. I'm good to go no matter what. what. Right. You know, <laughs> kind of a little white flex mix in. No problem. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. That's why you don't eat pizza, huh? Just, yeah, crumbs, that's it. Crumbs show up. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the reasoning. Yeah. You know, it's a uh, good time trying to clean the fur off when you have a whole bunch of dogs and, and pizza crumbs. Every, everyone accuses you of being a furry. <laughs> Every, everyone just look at you they point at you on the elevator so glove, awkward that oversized quiet oversized Mickey Mouse glove on oh. like, <laughs> three finger <laughs> glove three fingers I want to be a... <laughs> so yeah you know it's it's uh, it's been kind of crazy lately with everything that's been happening in the news you know like we got an impeachment trial. We yeah. Day two. Day two. We got uh, right of the, the uh, Senate hearings, right? Yeah. Those things are, those are exciting. Yeah. I, I, I saw the one where the, I, I forget, uh, Pam Bondi was like, uh, and Hunter worked from April. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen, two thousand nineteen, and I was like, "Wow, okay, like this is." <laughs> hey, it's tough. Okay, it is. It's difficult. It's not like it's their job. It's a world stage. It's tough to you know hold your composure on the world stage, right? Baseball of the uh, political stage. But I mean, we also have you know like we're seeing the effects of climate change. You know, like uh, Greta Thunberg, you know, made made a big point, pretty. You know, hit a lot of people with that. You know, a lot of people are aware of her her, her message. Mm-hmm. But like Australia, you know, has a giant wildfire. I mean, mm-hmm. that's that's nuts. Yeah. You know, uh, you saw how Bethesda for twenty four hours, all their sales are, uh, proceeds are going to Australia. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Um, buy Skyrim again. Nice you know, again. Was that like the sixth time? Yeah, I should just buy all of them again. Just keep buying them. Right. All. I have the box somewhere for. Uh, uh, what was the one before Skyrim? Everyone, Oblivion. Oblivion. Yeah, yeah. I like the mm. coin and a little cloth. Ooh, map. nice. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. I saw the uh, Untitled Deep. Goose game. They're putting like one percent of all their sales towards Australia. Also, oh nice. Mm. See, that's great. That's great. And you know, a lot of us come together and we try to make an effort, right? Because uh, you know, Earth's our home. We need. We need Earth. Yeah. <laughs> True. Next Earth, question. Earth doesn't need us. I don't think. Right? Not really. No. Probably not. Yeah. You know. Earth doesn't need to be fed. But Clothed. 
No. Bathe. We don't really even need clothes. I mean, come on. We'd be no, fine after a few like centuries without clothes. Majority of us need clothes. We'd be calloused bodies. I mean, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Whew, it's getting hot in here. Oh, That'd yeah. be an insult, I guess, in a uh, a, clo- a clothless, like no clothing society. Everyone's a nudist. If someone just hands you a sheet, <laughs> that'd be an ultimate insult. Uh, Here, wear the yeah, Hey, Lee, <laughs> Lee. Sorry, man. I'm, you know, I'm doing this in, not in front of everyone, but... Uh, you need to put this sheet on. Yeah. So how the fuck am I supposed to go in the room wait, now? Wait, what do I do with it, though? I, I don't know. I've never worn the sheet. <laughs> I think you put it on. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, put it on? That, that's a full nudist world. That's, another, another That's your punishment. It's like a hazing thing. Who left this on my desk? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put on some clothes. <laughs> I'm not opening the sheet. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, but I mean, humanity's found ways to to reap from the earth in in so many different ways, and how to just kind of, you know, gut just giant trenches for diamonds, like a few diamonds. I mean, they've been making science fiction movies about this forever you know oh, movies, yeah. like krypton they sure used up all their resources yep. bang yep and then it blew up <laughs> and then you get superman <laughs> and then yeah that's how superman came out oh okay so maybe we're just trying to finally get superman yeah we're just rushing in the end game here thing is like we don't get to benefit from superman <laughs> only he does <laughs> no no we need to find a red sun so we need to send some humans out Will that make us strong or something? That'll make us strong. So humans go into the Kryptonian area. We have to find a Kryptonian area. Red sun. (laughs) Okay. Uh, There's a lot to think about. Is this what the Space Force is for? I think so. Yeah. (laughs) No, think about it. I think that would be a great device where Lex Luthor, in his attempt to create his own sort of Superman, sends himself off to Krypton, or what, what would have been Krypton, to that sun and <laughs> see what happens. Tans in the sun. Uh, he tans in the sun. He comes back. He comes back a John Stewart like motherfucker. This is oh, oh, this, this is good. This red sun vibe. I like it. I'm strong. <laughs> Only to discover he has no powers. He's just tan. Just very tan. Right. Yeah. Back he, could, he could touch someone else and make them tan. It's like Midas is tan. I'm back Superman. Oh yeah, you look you look good. You look good. Full. Full coverage. Even the oh, even the butt. I could see it. I have Thank vision. you. Still no hair, though. <laughs> Still no yeah, hair. No hair anywhere. Wow. Okay. Good job, Lex. <laughs> Too much sun. I've got skin cancer now. I am skin cancer. <laughs> that's, his, that's his super villain name. Skin cancer. <laughs> but, I mean, because of, of all these, you know, ways that we've tried to, uh, you know, sell precious stones and, and metals and stuff like that. And even the, the chips in our phones, you know, we, we got giant mountains for silicone, you know, like, well, even the way that a lot of that silicon, stuff is mined, sorry. right. You know, like over in, uh, I believe East Africa, they mine for, I forgot what it is. It's this particular, not palladium, but it was some particular mineral that, you know, it's like conflict diamonds almost. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah. It's big strip mines. You know, it's crazy. I mean, even because of us chasing power from the atom, I mean, Fukushima's still leaking. Mm. Going out, out into the sea. It's a good time. But Earth's not really about to explode yet. Unless you want to think about Yellowstone. You know, like if Yellowstone blows up, then I guess we might have some problems. But (laughs) (laughs) we'll be cool. (laughs) Though if there was some money in it, I'm sure somebody would try to make the Earth explode or implode it's oh. not like lex Luthor, you know he would he would definitely like blow up the earth to go <laughs> yeah. bask in the red sun it's like gonna make me like 10 bucks i'll do it sure why not man? here we go yeah well, with tesla he had supposedly had a way to be able to split the earth in half and that's when the uh army was kind of stepping in like okay what's going on here yeah you know either that or he just spent too much time in his electric chamber there and you know, just too much electricity. Like like the people that live under the power lines. Oh, you know, a little geez. weird. Mm. You know, Tesla spent a lot of time in his, his Faraday cage there with electricity going off. And who knows? Mm. But let's take a look at this, this place called uh, Darvaza, which is it's a little village in uh, the remote desert, the 
Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan. It's a lot of words that I said. That was a mouthful. And uh, <laughs> yeah, none of those are familiar to me. But perfect. Let's go. Oh, you never. You, you don't. You don't like your travel agent. Never recommended this. No. Oh, well. weird. <laughs> hey, Kevin, why don't you go down to the remote Karakum Desert of Turkmenistan? Yeah. Oh, that's Turkmenistan. Sounds, that sounds. How do I get there? Well, it's uh, yeah. You got to like either ride a dromedary or walk. You know, or you know, Land Rover or something. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Is that a particular kind of camel? Yeah, that's the uh, the single hump. I can't ride a two hump out there. No, no two humps. Uh-huh. Come on, man. Think about it. You're gonna hurt yourself. Well, you know, you're in luck, Kevin. I'm gonna tell you all about this place. Okay. And then you could decide if it's worth if you riding wanted. the dromedary. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, in two, 2004, most of the inhabitants in this region were uh, Turkmen of, of the Teke tribe, but they uh, they got disbanded. They were uh, deemed like a nuisance to the to like visitors of the tribe. They didn't like appeal to the you know like um, the fucking visitors came in to tell us, well, we don't like you natives. Get right. out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get You're here. annoying. You nomads. You techies. Yeah, I mean, they're all like nomadic, you know. Oh. Like, so, like, ugh, these nomads. Get out of here, you gypsies. They keep wandering around. But I wouldn't really consider this like a tourist trap by any means. It's more, maybe more of a hot spot because it's... Uh, oh, they have Wi-Fi? Well... No, it's home to the gates of hell. It's called the gates of hell. Oh, wrong hot spot. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, def- a, a literal hot spot. It's a, uh, it's a giant gas crater that's, uh, it's a twenty six foot diameter and it's ninety. Sorry, two hundred and twenty six foot diameter, ninety eight foot deep. Ooh. Okay, it's this big gas crater that's been on fire since nineteen seventy one. Oh, great! Yeah. So for forty nine years, this thing's been burning along. Just you know, there's it's a giant gas pocket, and <laughs> and yeah, it was kind of like uh, a tourist attraction for a while. And uh, was this before or after they set it on fire? Uh, after. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Seventy-one. I thought that's when your dad dropped that hot track. We don't talk about <laughs> oh, that. Oh shit! The gates oh. of hell. I guess right. It's got a when, problem with the label. So. Your dad was in the metal band. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, called like, Firestarter. The Gates of Hell was that song. <laughs> it's called Firestarter. It was before Prodigy. Yeah, yeah. and they it was took in, it for that's why the label is really upset about it. It's right. still ongoing. No, yep. they, yep. they they their first concert was in Turkmenistan. <laughs> yeah. Billy Joel referred to it. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> yeah, yep. it was my pop pop. Yep. Banana stand. <laughs> well, this this gate, the Gates of Hell, it happens to be the. Uh, the world's largest natural gas reserve. Uh, oh, yeah, pocket so large that it's it's the you know, largest ever recorded. Wow, those are some deep fucking pockets. Yeah, man, big stuff. Uh. Now, Soviet engineers they discovered the site in seventy one. They thought it was a rich oil deposit from like signs they were getting. Um, I mean, if you've seen th- there will be blood, you know that you see like there's natural gas and and, and little oil leaks and stuff, you know. Mm. Um, so they started drilling to see what was in there. And, uh, yeah, they, they soon realized that it they had this giant gas pocket, and it's unveiling. It, it swallowed the drill, uh, swallowed the rig right up, and the camp, the surrounding camp. It swallowed Ooh. everything. Oh. Yeah. Uh, a couple of, ca- you know, some casualties there. It it sw- it, I mean, it swallowed it and buried it all. Fucking Joey Chestnut. Yeah, this that thing shit. just fucking, blah! you know, this earth just belched and sucked him in. And, uh, yeah. All right. So it started expelling a lot of gas, as it would, because it's the biggest gas deposit sure. in the world. It yeah. ate all those things, then it got real gassy. And it, it, <laughs> oh, yeah. this doesn't feel good. <laughs> you shouldn't have touched me there. You know. <laughs> so to stop the spread of the noxious fumes to the uh, nearby villagers and, and tribes, uh, they, they lit it on fire. Okay. So, uh. Oh, goodness. Now, this can contain, you know, a uh, natural gas uh, uh, leak over time. Okay. You know, but it, and it keeps it from expelling the fumes and, and harming everybody and wildlife around. Sure. Uh, so they thought, like, it, maybe a couple weeks. And, uh, nope, still going. And it's going to go for, like, an indefinite amount of time. They don't really have any idea. <laughs> Just keep checking it. Yep, still going. 
It's still hot. Yeah, it's still glowing from space. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it from space, but a fire older than all of us. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this is true. You know. <laughs> So there's like some uncertainty when the actual collapse happened and when the fire was started. Like uh, the Turkmen say that it started in like the collapse happened in the 60s and the fire happened a later time and there's really no reports about it. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very sneaky. <laughs> now, I mean, this is an era when, you know, humans tried to remove a whale carcass with dynamite. That happened in Oregon, I believe, or Washington, um, and it just rained big chunks of, of whale carcass all over the place. Oh, that must have been yeah, smelling so. awesome. We were pretty savage back then, you know, uh, still 30-some years ago and 49 years ago. Um, <laughs> I but, mean, I don't know how else I would get rid of a whale carcass. I'd probably give that a shot. I don't know. It's, I mean, it smelled really bad. It was yeah. smelling up the town. And the animals weren't eating it quick enough, of course. I mean, it's a whale, a lot of whale. Yeah. Um, we'll just go like a herd of lions. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can't really get a bulldozer out on the beach because it might sink. Oh, definitely. Um, if you start tugging on it, it's just going to rip. Ah, oh, gross. It's gonna if you cut bulldozer. it open. <sighs> well, yeah, they cut it open all right. <laughs> now, the, the president of Turkmenistan, he... Uh, declared this to be a, a national park a national monument or whatever you know national uh park rather yeah sorry and uh to satanists everywhere that's and that's another reason why they uh the locals are gone now uh so you, you know you, you could visit it but you it's not like uh nobody can live there anymore but he he did a political stunt to show he was still alive mm mm-hmm. mhm they had a video of him with a drone covering it, and he's doing donuts around the <laughs> around the uh, fire pit. And they said it was him driving, but you know, like uh, there's no proof it was really him driving. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a radio controlled car. It looked all spliced. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So it's it's you know the. <laughs> National treasure, Turk, Turkmenistan. Yeah, Tur- he's Tur- definitely still kicking. Didn't you see him doing those sweet donuts out there? Around the gates of hell? <laughs> he's not with Satan or anything. No. <laughs> Believe in that? No. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like something fun. You want to go check it out? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. interested. Okay. Hey, yeah. guys, I just found some tickets for free. Oh, nice. <laughs> if you survive, you can go home. Is a- yeah. Okay. That's awesome. It, it just says free. <laughs> One way, $320 back. Now, this this one was, uh, this one I saw a while ago, it just is really bizarre. It's uh, it's in Tanzania, located in the, the Gregory Rift is, uh, <laughs> the Gregory Rift. That sounds so made up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that like a party like yeah i've been i've been traveling abroad i was in uh, tanzania in the gregory rift uh <laughs> what bitch what <laughs> yeah, no it's over by the uh, george hyde valley uh you know, okay where, now you play him now you play him. The, the orangutans are there they're there on their island did you say you need some tongs at paul mccarthy island you never i thought heard? it was orangutans I, oh oh you wouldn't know you were never <laughs> in cup of tea, cup of tea forest, were you? <laughs> With the orangutans. No, Gregory. <laughs> yes, Gregory. Uh, <laughs> Gregory Rift. <laughs> kind of sounds like a a band, like an 80s band. You know, like, we're the Gregory Hines Rift. Gregory Rift. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. But they got like a guitar or yeah. synthesizer or something. <laughs> Headband, you know, like but, a... Sweat bracelet for nice, some reason. Nice. Yeah. And a sitar player. You definitely need the sitar for the, the deep notes. <laughs> now, Lake Natron resides in the Gregory's Rift. Gregory's Rift. Right inside of Gregory's Rift. Hopefully, Gregory... Actually, this would be horrible for Gregory if this was in his Rift. It would be really bad. Why? Because, uh, well, we'll get to that. It's... It, <laughs> It's a shallow lake, but it's a huge lake. It's it's about ten foot deep at the, at its deepest, mm-hmm. um, and it covers uh, an area of like thirty five miles in length, and it's fourteen miles wide. Wow! 
And the area, it's, it's surrounded by all these rich mineral deposits and uh, they're uh, high in carbon, so there's a lot of alkali in them. And it just kind of deposits into this lake. And the region, you know, it's temperate. It has a hot, dry season and a wet season. Okay, sounds pretty nice so far. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, the lake is beautiful. It has this, like, crimson red hue. Ooh. And a lot of ochre and, like, all these weird colors. And it looks like uh, like a Martian landscape, if you look at it. Okay. Like, just a segment of it. it looks like you'd think you'd be looking at Mars for a moment. That sounds awesome. But this lake, what's notable about it, is it has a high al- alkalinity. It has a pH of 12, which is nearly or as high as ammonia. Ugh. Yeah. So, uh... You know, you you take a drink of that, it's, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. Okay, feel it. so maybe a little less awesome. Yeah, you know, you don't want to bathe in there. Uh, Got the old spicy lake out here, ooh, is what you're telling yeah. me. Yeah, oh, too stuff. too spicy. <laughs> and uh, what what <laughs> happens uh, was any unwary animal passing through it. You know, if they land in that water, uh, it'll start like a mummification process on them. Oh, and it, it it's really creepy, really weird looking. Um, now the lake's also really warm too, because there's a lot of hot springs and stuff around there. So it's about Mm. 104 degrees average. Um, you know, so it's, uh, it's just this deadly alcohol, alkaline brine just kind of stewing away (laughs) in there, you know, and the theory is that these migrating animals, they confuse the reflection of the lake for like an open space illusion where it looks like. Uh, you know, you're still flying across like uh, it looks like a hill or something. You know, oh, like it looks okay. like mm-hmm. high up. And uh, this happened to a chopper pilot. He he died because of that same illusion, mm. and he crashed in the lake because it you know it looked like a uh, God, I can't think of the word ground. Yeah, it looked like ground. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what it looked like a hill or something? Or? Yeah, it looked yeah, it looked like a you know hill. It looked like like big hill, like a uh, du- like a dune, like a dune, <laughs> like a mirage. <clears throat> yeah, it made a mirage. Of, right, right. It's not like that. Um, we're getting there, but yeah, he crashed into the lake, and uh, the, his chopper started to deteriorate really, really fast. You know, started eating it. Um. So these birds, you know, they do the same thing. They they fly over, they fly into it, thinking they're flying over it, mm-hmm. and uh, they just kind of land in it. They get submerged, and then when they get out, you know, they kind of cling on to something, but they're they're dying because oh, it's right. just calcifying their feathers and their in their skin and everything. It's already game over, man. Yeah, it's it's nuts. Oh man, it's nuts. Um. Yeah, so it's like a big death bath. Automatic mummy juice. <laughs> yes. I like that. Let's start bottling some. It's going to be fun. It's like you want you want to keep your cat forever and make it look really cool and calcified. Mummify it. <laughs> Nick Brandt, he's a photographer who was on assignment to the you know, he went to the region and heard about the lake and uh he took all these like really fascinating images of these mummy creatures. And he, you know, it's after like a lot of it's after the lake recedes. Mm-hmm. Um, and he noted that there's like hundreds of these old mummy creatures in you know, various tableaus, you know, like lizards, uh, birds, uh, mostly those kind of little critters that get in there. Mm-hmm. Um, All in, with the same look of, oh shit. So, yeah, I mean, they're just, it's uh, just really creepy and beautiful, you know, like like an ice sculpture from hell. Basically, uh-huh. that's how it looks like to me, anyway. But <laughs> now, this lake, though, it's it's not devoid of life. It actually has uh, one fish species living in it. It's the uh, Alcolapia lat- latilibris. Okay, of I course, don't speak Latin. Uh, lat- latibil- Alcolapia latilabris. Latilabris, and uh, some algae and some uh, flamingo colony that comes through, and they. Uh, you know, they eat the things out that live in the lake. <laughs> so, uh, but as you can see in Brandt's photography, there's uh, a flamingo that didn't didn't you know fare too well in there. Forgot to get out in yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. He slipped in. It's like, ooh, I ate too many of these uh, 
He's Latin fish. Forgot to wait <laughs> 30 minutes. That's why you don't get in swimming. That's right. You're going to be calcified <laughs> forever now. That's your new home. So does that fish live anywhere else? Or? Nope, just there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, It's only there. Yep. It's, uh, I mean, I, I guess you'd imagine if that's your home. Yeah. You would have to be pretty specialized. Yeah. Oh, I live in ammonia that mummifies everything else that <laughs> touches it. But not me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet like the tardigrade could probably hang out in there too. Yeah. You know, let's just litter it with tardigrades and, and see if those fish, you know, they coexist. That'd be kind of neat. Riding on the fish. Wee. <laughs> I'm a woolly bear. I think that's what they sound like when they talk. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm a woolly bear. I can I'm live in anything. I'm just really, really well there. Live in the back of a spice. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, Brant's uh, series of uh, photographs on this, it's called The Calcified. And... Uh, it was in the October 2013 issue of New Scientist. Um, I would have called it Got Milk. <laughs> got milked. <laughs> you got milk, Got bird. milked. <laughs> but, yeah, they're, they're haunting and, and beautiful. And, uh, you know, it's cool, man. I, yeah, those are pretty sweet looking. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very well done. Kind of I like the one where it looks like the bottom one you said looks like Mad Max. Oh, yeah. It looks oh, like yeah. those creepy giant bird things on stilts and yeah. Mad Max. Yeah, yeah. It's like they've all just like, oh, one last time on in the sun. <laughs> I'll get dry. I'll be out of here soon. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, you know, I, I started off a little gloomy. I mean, I am kind of a gloomy person. Wah, wah. <laughs> What's up, Chuck? But not all of us want to treat the earth like a toilet, right? You know, like nobody wants to treat it like a waste bin, right? Not everyone, hopefully. I recycle. You know, I do recyclings. I do the, that. The problem is where do these people put the recycling after? Oh, they throw it right in the trash. Yeah. Um, I knew of one county that used to just burn it. Yep. Smart. <laughs> yeah. Smart. Yeah. Just burn it. And some people just ship it off to third world countries. Oh, true. Yeah. China refused to accept any more foreign trash. Right. No more, and it's all tariffed anyway, so why would they want it? <laughs> <laughs> so, in the case of the, uh, the Moyen Island located on the coast of Mahe and the Seychelles, uh, or Seychelles, not the Seychelles. Uh, <laughs> this island was purchased by uh, Brendan Grimshaw for eight thousand pounds, which is about twenty thousand today. Um, and he built a home on it, and he turned it into a, a paradise. Ooh, good investment. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, uh, that's that's a pretty small sum for a little island, you know, for an island. I mean, that's pretty nice. You know what he had? Hmm? Yeah, two tickets. <laughs> He was he was Eddie moneying it. <laughs> well, him and his partner uh, Rene Lafortune, uh, they organized the island uh, into a nature reserve, and uh, they started charging visitors twelve euros to come and explore the island and check out all the wonders that they had uh, restored to it. Hey guys, you want to see some cool shit? Let's see some cool shit. I got it right. Here. Come out here. Check out my backyard. <laughs> it's a fucking ocean. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 12 bucks get in my boat <laughs> Grimshaw <laughs> Grimshaw and La Fortune <laughs> you know, uh, but like Grimshaw and La Fortune they, they planted 16,000 trees on the island dang they built three miles of path uh, you know like nature paths throughout the island mm-hmm. and they bred giant tortoises on the island and they yeah. rode them they to rode, paradise. Yes, that's they did. They rode them together, and uh, that's nah. how they led tours on the island of the, of the tortoise. No, they, oh, didn't, they didn't do that. But, yeah, they would buy and, and breed these tortoises on the island. And, you know, the island itself, it's, it's chock full of local bird and fauna. And uh, now there's over uh, 120 to- giant tortoise that live on the island. That's awesome. I and, like it. Um, I would like to visit there. Me the, too. Is this still 12 bucks? Uh, euros. Oh, is it 12, still twelve euros? Twelve euros. So Sorry. That, that's about equivalent to about eighteen twenty American dollars. Something like that. I think I can't tell you off the top of my head. I'm not really sure on the conversion. Hmm. Uh, pretty close. So I think it's gone dipped and uh, dip dip low. Now, for years, there was a lot of attempts at like land developers trying to buy the island from them. 
Mm. Because I mean, come on, think about it. I mean, that's a gold mine. It's resort heaven. Sure, you know, they they did all the work. <laughs> they did all the work, but I mean, he could have made quite a tidy sum. He could have sold it for a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, if he wanted thirteen dollars and twenty four cents. Oh, okay, yeah. So it did it did dip quite a bit. Huh? Wow, yeah, wow. <laughs> Time to go to Europe. Let's get some. Uh, yeah, it used to be like almost some, two dollars. Gucci, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember at one point it was like eighty cents though. You know, and that's where you go to mm. buy all the uh, expensive, you know, clothes, bring them back, and so, nice, yeah. smart, smart, Gucci. But this wasn't uh, this wasn't anything uh, that Grimshaw and, and LaFortune wanted. You know, they didn't want their island to be annihilated by by human consideration. No, they they built this specifically for that purpose to avoid that. Well, plus there's also a rumor that there's pirate treasure on the island. Yeah. Is it true or did they start the rumor? Well, no. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they started it, but... I doubt they would want to start it because then they would have people trying to get on and look for treasure on there. Well, Grimshaw said that he, he and LaFortune had dug up some areas and they found some human remains. Ooh. Most pirates. likely the pirates. Um, You know, and uh, that'd be an added bonus if, if anyone owned that. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I mean, there might be uh, some booty. Richard Bronson, huh? Yeah, no, get out of here, Branson. No, 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 don't even get off your fucking boat, Richard Branson. Get I know, out of here. I know what you about want... my plane? I know you want this booty, but get out of here, Virgin. Yeah. Get... <laughs> if I want zero G's, I'll go ride a roller coaster. Fuck off, Richard. Oh, my God, it's John Legere again, too. He's flying over. Slide off, you Flying over in his UFO that he made out of mobile phones, his T-Mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> TMs. Now, now, sadly, Grimshaw, he passed away in 2012, and he left behind uh, quite a beautiful legacy that it's available for the public to enjoy uh, because it's now the uh, St. Anne uh, Marine National Park. So you can go mm. there. You can visit it. Uh, they have a little restaurant on the island now that serves fish because that's really all you can get there. Yeah, unless, that makes sense. Unless you, I mean, they have a lot of tortoise. But they they're take not, a while to develop. They're not. They're not serving tortoise soup, sir. I maybe. I don't know, that's a lot of time. like one tortoise could feed like at least ten people. Once, and then 120 years later, you know, you get a nice full-grown one again. It takes a while. It's long. Yeah, it lived for a long time. They lay a crap load of eggs at one time, though, right? I can get the little baby ones. The tortoise. They, oh yeah, they yeah. Got like a veal thing going on. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, soft. Some tortoise feel. Get them right out of the egg, and, they're, and their shells are soft. Just bite right through. Perfect. Mm. Can I have some scrambled? No, nah, I wouldn't do that. I, I had tortoise. I had desert tortoise when I was younger. Oh, I think I'd mentioned them before. I don't know if I mentioned them before, but I think you may have. Yeah. I'm not sure. I had like a federal license or a state oh, license. Oh, that's right. Yeah, to, I thought you meant you ate tortoise. No, I was uh, like, geez. No, I've never cool. never eaten turtle. Never, I've eaten like frog. Legs. I've, I've eaten a snake. Frog. I've eaten snake. No snake. So I've, I've eaten alligator. I've eaten an a amphibian. few reptiles and, and amphibians. There's a place near me that near work that serves gator bites. Yeah, I may try it. I don't know. I'm don't do kinda that. Hesitant. If you go to when you go to Florida again, just go to go eat go eat it there. It's fresh from the tap. I don't know if I even want to go to right? Florida. Because I mean, <laughs> gators live in the the filthiest shit and delicious. Mm, and they eat. Mm. They eat shit that's decayed. They just like hold it and kind of roll around in it till it just decays some more. So sea coons? I'm eating sea raccoons. Do raccoons do that? Do they eat like road road meat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just fucking see them out there with their little hands. Sea crows. <laughs> there you go. Sea crows. <laughs> you know, maybe that's when they're rabid. I don't know. But... No, raccoons go for uh, garbage. Human garbage. That's one of the many mysteries of our planet. You know whether that that. Probably remains unsolved. Do, do raccoons just sneak out at night and chomp road meat? Probably. Raccoons come out at night. <laughs> Eating road meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a raccoon, right? That <laughs> oh, shit. Close enough. <laughs> That's the noise you make to scare them off. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We know much, but we also know very little about what lies in wait under our planet. You know, I mean, we don't know much about the ocean. We didn't know what to do with the giant, the biggest gas fucking deposit. We load on fire. Boom. <laughs> Whoop. Socrates would disagree with you. He wouldn't believe that we know everything. No, we'll never we know, know everything. All know right, nothing. Socrates. Yes, yeah, Socrates. 
Go clean up aisle number two. The original boomer Socrates. <laughs> no, he was a re- no, he was a re- <laughs> Oh Jesus. Then he kills he himself. Rich. He, he had, had the to. right idea. He, I'm with him. He had to kill himself. <laughs> he didn't really have to. He could have just like talked his way out of it if he was that good. Oh shit. Slapped shut up. Nero in the face. He he admitted he didn't know everything. There you go. I mean that's why he had to drink that the hemlock. He slapped Nero in the face with his dick or something I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what I don't know what Socrates did how'd that feel drink it <laughs> we're making strides though we're making strides to make this planet better <laughs> right right I think yeah maybe we some just, of us are we just repealed the regulations protecting the wetlands yeah so. thank you that'll, thank you impeach president that's that'll awesome. help that's great well hopefully some of these seeds are getting planted into the the skulls of the future generations and you know, maybe someone will, or, you know, the next generation will step up and find ways to sustain what we have and, and try to renew and, and, I don't know, or just move to fucking space. Yeah, we'll just find another planet yeah. or something. Yeah, go to space. Well, hey, millennials are about 25% of millennials now have a savings of about $100,000 on average. I saw that. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So those little motherfuckers are they're it's taking gonna, my money. Yeah, it's going to buy rocket ship passes when Elon Musk is like, come children, we're going into space. And you can play PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> What's PayPal? That's, you know, that's the other thing. What's PayPal? Oh, shit, son. Damn, right? Yeah. Uh, it's Venmo. It's basically Venmo. Just not Venmo. Oh, perfect. Which is owned by PayPal. Right. Who's PayPal? Huh? What? <laughs> but, yeah, I, I don't know. It's crazy, man. It's crazy what's what's out there. You know, what, what could just swallow you up. <laughs> and just imagine the things that we still haven't discovered yet. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait until, like, you know, like uh, Mount Fuji just er- erupts one day. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Like, whoa, not dormant, bitches. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Man, I hope I find my own gas pocket to light on fire. <laughs> That's dangerous, man. You could fry you fry your eggs. Don't do it. Don't do it um, without pants on. Right, right. No matter what you yeah, do, don't ever underwear. do it without pants Burn on. Burn your underwear. Burn right through the Mondays. Yep. If I find a gas pocket or if I cook if, eggs? If you cook if your you, own If you want to cook pocket. your own gas pocket. Oh, okay. Right. And if right. you want to do your own gas pocket, always wear pants. Are, okay. you just, are you just talking about finding your own gas pocket in your backyard? Just uh, tapping around with this. I'll just get like stick. a little lighter and just s- 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 light, the gra- <laughs> light the round of the grass. <laughs> nope, not today. Nope. You, no, you should just throw matches. <laughs> throw those matches that are like windproof. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. That'll work. I'll never go out and landing. <laughs> it's still burning, guys. Still Somebody burning. call National Geographic. Oh, I got. Wait, I'll get my own photos. <laughs> throw the gas can and throw the lighter at it. <laughs> Well, catch us online, www.weirdandweary.com. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, (laughs) social media. All of it. All of that shit. Somewhere. Social med. Social med. Social med. Put up that sock med. Some memes. There might be some memes out there of us. I don't know. Memes. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Me, 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 me. Memes. (laughs) Maymays. It's all about me. Hey, May May. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you all May Mays tonight. Just bunches of them. Hey, about, May May. About the gates of hell. They want to take us for our witty puns. <laughs> <laughs> you want a burning hole? Eat, a, eat this burrito. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to make them up as I go. Nice. Yeah, they, won't, they might not make sense after a while, but you might just actually mute my number. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone. Be good to the earth. You know, don't light your gas pocket on fire without pants on. Always wear pants. You will fry your eggs. Especially, you know. Make sure you're not wearing cologne or perfume either. (laughs) I need to smell good for gas pockets. I mean, some people think their gas pockets smell good. I've heard. I've read about it online. Number one thing, too, don't yeah. wear polyester pants when you're doing it. Oh. It's worse. Are you really big on the polyester pants? Who Is me? that what you do when you get home? You put on your leisure suit. <laughs> put on your slip on your leisure suit. Hey, man. Everyone's got their thing. 
You you and uh, you and your girl, you just get in your leisure suit. I say, bitch, call me Larry. Starts starts uh, <laughs> pulls out her macrame sweater. I got my snakeskin, bitch. Can I still get away with parachute pants? Am I good to wear those? See Cavariches. <laughs> I'm Jason. I'm Kevin. I I think I'm Lee. <laughs> he does have polyester pants on. Right now, he's wearing them under his regular pants. I'm getting a pleather jacket next week. He walks Ooh, around like... Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to go leisure. <laughs> Anybody hear all that whooshing? Hey, where's my thigh master? What'd you call me? JKL Mania. Jekyll.